I'm Ben Winslow at Farmington Bay. Windy days like this kick dust off the exposed lake bed on the Great Salt Lake and push it into nearby communities. But your elected lawmakers didn't spend a whole lot on air quality monitoring. It seems fuller than it has in the past. It's beautiful. We couldn't live in a more lovely place. When there's what looks to me like inversion, we can certainly see it too. Kathleen Bailey can see the Great Salt Lake from her house in Bountiful, and she's seen hazy conditions. When you see things that look hazy outside, it's one of three things. It could be inversions, it could be wildfire smoke, and it can be dust. Dust blowing off the Great Salt Lake is becoming a bigger issue. Fox 13 News' cameras captured this on Monday at Farmington Bay. I think there's pretty good evidence that we're seeing more dust events, especially dust coming from the Great Salt Lake since about 2010. Derek Malia is a research assistant professor at the University of Utah's Department of Atmospheric Sciences. He's involved in research on dust and where it's blowing. Farmington Bay and Bay River Bay are the big dust hotspots for the Great Salt Lake. Um, and unfortunately, those are the areas that are actually closest to communities. Scientists have even captured previous dust events on satellite. Those aren't clouds you're seeing. He's also mapped some dust hotspots, which show communities from Salt Lake City to Ogden seeing more exposure, usually ahead of a storm. There's a lot of concern about what's in that dust. There are heavy metals, things that are not good for your health in this dust. I think the big outstanding question is, is the concentration of those heavy metals, are they actually are high enough to cause um, even worse kind of impacts? But along those lines, if those particles, even if the concentrations of heavy metals aren't that high, dust particles in the absence of heavy metals, it's still bad for you because they are small. Environmental groups have been pushing for more air quality monitors. Lawmakers rejected a request by Representative Doug Owens for funding before reversing course at the end of the legislative session. A little money, $50,000 ongoing. It really should have been 600000 ongoing to uh, make sure we were getting real-time data on the dust blowing off the lake. Representative Owens says the research will help communities. So we have a better understanding of what we're breathing. People like Kathleen Bailey agree. Whether it's an inversion and it's particulate matter from cars or other sources or dust from the lake, either one is of concern. Representative Owens says he'll keep pushing for additional funding for those air quality monitors. At Farmington Bay, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.